Okay, what do we got today? We got a bunch of stuff which we're going to try on the new reliable uh, split phase 3000 watt inverter, high frequency. We're going to try a compressor, heat gun, and 1500 watt heater, 1500 watt heat, heat gun. And what does this compressor take? Eh, not sure if that's easy to find or not, but I mean, I believe it's something like a 13 amp or something like that. It's not quite as much power as the rest, but it has a surge to start. So, all these things are only 120 volts. I don't really have much that uses 240, other than like if I ran my house, which I will be doing a video. The problem is I have to have everybody in, more or less uh, not be in my house or using anything. So I gotta wait for that opportunity. But until then, we're gonna use this transformer. This is 240 to 120 volts, 3000 watt transformer. We will be maxing out the transformer, maxing out the inverter. Okay, so let's turn it on. And as you can see, I got the two hots connected. It goes hot, neutral, hot to ground. Leg one, leg two. Let's see what kind of voltage are we sitting at here. I do like how bright the screen is. It's quite nice. Great right about maxing the inverter out at 60 volts. Okay. 120 volts both sides, 119 actually, two, uh, 240, it's one, 239. So, I wanna see, will this start a compressor? You gotta remember, each leg is really only about 1500 watts plus whatever it can surge. So let's find out. <laughs> Well, that seemed to power that no problem. Now let's put a 1500 watt load on the other leg. So you can see that this one's plugged into the other side here. This one's the compressor. We're gonna turn this to 1500 watts. Make sure that's not pointed at anything. What are we sitting at? 11.4 amps and then let's see if this thing starts. Wow, starting no problem, very impressive. Okay, now let's go heat gun, heater, and then we're gonna take the compressor and we're gonna put the compressor on the transformer so it'll be spreading its load across the two legs. So I'll just get that plugged in. All right, we got everything hooked up. That's hooked up to the transformer now. We're gonna turn the transformer on and let's see what kind of power it, it takes with no load on it. There goes the transformer. And it is taking half an amp just for nothing. That's the problem with transformers. So that is now on. Let's turn the compressor on. That is now running off the 240 side of the inverter. As you can see, it goes through here into the back of the transformer. Then out the front, we got the compressor. So now let's try Let's make sure nothing's burning there. Let's turn this on. That's on high, oops. It's on high, you can see here. 11.7 amps. This we're gonna go to high. Now this is what, what's really hard on inverters. Now surge, let's see how she does. Oh, it did it. It was a soft start though. We're overloading it. That was 17 amps per leg. We overloaded it, of course. So that ran heat gun, 1500 watt heater, and a compressor. Now it did shut off after a little bit, but that's extremely impressive that it even started that. That's incredible. Now, it did soft start. I like that feature. Um, yes, if you're running your house, all your lights in your house would dim, but then you would know for a fact that you're pushing your inverter too hard. So I, no matter what, I still like that feature. And a lot of inverters that don't have that, they'll just power everything. They'll power like, say, 1,000 watts over, 1,500 watts over what they're rated for, and then they just blow. So you gotta be careful. So I do like the soft start feature. Okay, let's see what else we can run. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do uh, 
little update video on this guy. I built this years ago. It, got, it has a 3000 watt power jack low frequency inverter. And let's see how this thing fares in comparison. It's got uh, three kilowatt hours worth of lithium battery at uh, 24 volts. Yes, it's very dirty in here because this was used and this kept outside powering a house trailer for about six months. So it looks quite dirty. Okay, reset, reset. So I get my L1 here, I get my L2 here. We're gonna hook up the transformer and see how this does in comparison to the reliable. Okay, so now we're gonna try it on the 3000 watt power jack. Now, I know this inverter needs to be able to breathe. We're not gonna be doing this for very long. I know it, uh, it'll trip before then anyways, but let's give this a try now, just for fun. The inverter's on inside. This is on leg one. And that one, the heater is on leg two. Let's see, we're gonna go just to low at first. It's low. Let's try low on this one. Low, it actually sped up when I started this one because the transformer doesn't like to be unbalanced. On load, load they're working. It's more or less turned into a square wave at this point. Okay, so first off, let's just try these things one at a time. We did the these two on low. Before we do these on high, let's just try the compressor through the uh, 3000 watt transformer. You can see the light turned on when I turn that on. This is the compressor. Let's see if it even starts. It started, but it's not running at full speed. Will it keep running or is it gonna shut down? Still going. Yeah, it might run indefinite then. That's not bad, okay. It is slower, but uh, now let's try running this and this on low and then starting it, see what happens. Now you gotta remember, this is gonna be running half the amount of power. Low, low. We've got them both running and now let's try the compressor. It's running, but not very fast. Pretty sure it's gonna overload soon. Or maybe it won't. Okay, it won't overload, but I mean, obviously the voltage is drooping so bad. I can't even show you on this meter because it goes to square wave and this meter, this meter reads like 150 volts. So, let's try, oh boy, can't really just try one. We could try one, let's try one. That helped a little. Turn this off. There, you get the idea. So that is a El Cheapo split phase inverter versus a much higher quality. Now we're still gonna do a video of this thing running on, uh, running the entire house. But until then, hope you guys enjoyed the video.